In addition to creating your own tables, you can actually use some of the templates that Microsoft has here. For example, I can click on the Create tab, come to the Tables group, and click on the Table Templates. When I click on it, it gives me a few of them here, like Task. If I click on Task, it automatically generates a table for me that hasn't been saved because it gives me this generic name, Table 1. And then it's got a bunch of default fields, or what Microsoft in the template assumes is going to be important fields for you regarding any task that you set. Like, for example, the title, the priority, is it normal? When I click in the field here, you got high, low, normal for your task. Has the task started? It's in progress, completed percent complete the description type in your text I mean it's a nice way of being able to quickly create a table without having to type in and set the data types so if that works for you then be sure to come up here and save your table click on save be sure to enter in your prefix TBL to let us know it's a table three letter prefix and then we can say it's like our projects or task table and then click OK adds it over to the left hand side that's great and then if you don't like the way it's uh, separating your tables here you can always click on the arrow here for your navigation pane and come down and say that you want object by type meaning that all the tables will be grouped together all the forms that you have will be grouped together under one heading there let's take a look at how this table was created by going to its design view let me right click on the tab here and left click on the design view and quickly you can see that it's an automatic number that's been generated for each task. You don't have to worry about typing in and keeping your numbers unique. Like, let's see, I've used for my first task, I used the number one. My second task, I used number five. Let's see, what should I do for my third task, number three or five? No, I already used five. So it's automatically generating these numbers for you, so there'll never be a duplicate. And they assign this field as the primary key. If you watched the previous training video, we went over the definitions and the importance of setting at least one field in each table as the primary key field. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.